With all these kids at home doing virtual learning and companies mandating work from home policies due to the coronavirus, cybersecurity experts are warning that these remote setups could be inviting hackers. This provides a lot of opportunities for all sorts of threat actors to target either home workers, uh, school children, or even businesses that are providing those telework um, services to their employees. Many of these hackers are using the coronavirus pandemic as clickbait. The biggest target is obviously email. So every scammer in the world is sending phishing emails or malicious links and exploiting everybody's interest in coronavirus. For teleworkers, having an up-to-date security protection program on your device is extremely important. And what we want to make sure is that the operating system is up-to-date with the latest patches and security updates. We want to make sure all the other software is up-to-date as well. You have a personal firewall installed and that you're connecting to a trusted network. Another target is kids online. We're also exposed to a lot more threats. So obviously, you know, um, making sure that you supervise them as much as possible. Um, stranger danger still applies online. You don't know who you're talking to. So only communicate with those that you know, whether they are in your school or your, you know, your community. Um, there's a lot of great resources out there. One is from the National Center for Missing Exploited Children. It's called netsmarts.org. Um, and they have a lot of great tips as far as how to keep children safe online, especially nowadays when they're spending that much more time there. And with the uptick in online shopping, Garrity shares tips on how to avoid those Cyber Monday attacks. Making sure that it's a secure website, that you see the padlock in the corner and that there's HTTPS to make sure you know that information that you're transmitting is being done so in an encrypted manner. And so your you know, passwords and credit card numbers are not in plain text for everybody else to see. Make sure the vendor is somebody that you know. So those like Amazon and Target, they're well-known vendors. They provide all sorts of protections for you. Using different passwords and when offered a multi-factor authentication process to verify that it's you. If you become a victim or you receive a suspicious email that you, you think may not be on the up and up, you can contact Contact us in the New Jersey Cybersecurity and Communications Integration Cell, the NJ Kick, um, by visiting our site, cyber.nj.gov. You can make a report right there. Um, and then one of our trained cyber analysts will reach back out to you and provide you advice on, on where to go from there. It's important that you only click on links from official resources like the CDC or New Jersey's official COVID-19 page that could be found at covid19.nj.gov to protect yourself from hackers. Reporting from home, I'm Heather Fordham for New Jersey News Network.